So we're gonna animate this little guy and he's gonna say, hello, hello. So we're gonna learn how to move his mouth. We're gonna learn how to move his mouth and make the sounds of hello. Uh, but first, I'm gonna teach you all the different mouth shapes. So there are 11 mouth shapes we're gonna to draw together. So I want you to get at least two pieces of paper to write these mouth shapes down, okay? Here are the mouth shapes, and I'm gonna write them down with you. And we're going to actually even write out what it sounds like. So that way everybody has it. Okay, so here are the the shapes. So I want you to write number one up top. And this is like a melon shape, like this. And this is the ah. Uh, so A, 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 H, or A, ah. Uh, and usually you see a little bit of the, the top teeth and the tongue, a little bit of the tongue. And just to make this clear, I'm gonna fill in the black space, which is at the back of your mouth. So the tongue is important because the tongue helps you pronounce. That's number one. Here's number two. This is eh, eh. And you can always use a mirror to see what it looks like, but this will be a reference guide. And the eh goes from side to side. So this is your mouth is like half open. Uh, you have the top two, top teeth, and the tongue. This is uh, e, 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 uh, uh. Okay, all right, straw number three. So this is for letters C, D, G, K, and S, T, X, Y, and Z. So this, this one you can use for a lot, but basically when, when you say k, k, your mouth is open more, and your tongue is in the back of your mouth. So the top, the top tooth is up there, the bottom tooth here, and the tongue is in the back of your mouth. So the black space is very small here. So if you said like car, car, k, k, or dog, da, g, g, maybe uh, garbage. So you can use these letters as reference. Okay, number four is for ch, j, and sh. They sound very similar. And this one, you have another melon shape. And this one's different than this one because the tongue is, uh, is higher. Like when you say ah, your tongue is lower. When you go ch, ch, it's, your, your, your tongue is a little bit higher. And your mouth, you can even you can even bend this a little bit. So this is for ch, it's like ch, j, maybe like jar or sh, like sheep, sh, 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 ch, 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 okay? And then number five is really easy. Number five is for b, like b, b. So your, you go b, your mouth is closed, right? Your lips are pressed together. So that's just a line, b, b. You can also put you know, uh, little lines on the side if you want. B, b. So b or m, 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 or p, p, pump, like pump, p, p, p. Okay, so that's number four, five. Number six is really easy too. Number six is oh. So go ahead and go oh with me, oh. So you notice your mouth is oh open and it's a small little hole, oh. So we're actually gonna use this one for hello. Hello, right at the end. So it sounds like O oh, or O O O O. So we have ah, eh, ch, ch, b, b, and O. Oh. So those are six. We have five more after this. But those are six shapes you can use to animate mouse. Number seven's like oh, oh. Uh. So it looks like this shape. Uh. So this is like oh versus uh. So U H or uh. It's kind of like a, a bean shape. Okay, number eight is uh. uh. So it's like number seven, but it has a sh it's like upside down from that one. And you can have the tooth showing. Uh. Okay, that's number eight. Here's number nine. 
Number nine is easy. It's mmm. So it's like a smiley face up. Mmm. So it's a little different than b because that's your your two lips pressing together to make the b or a m. But this is mmm. You can move the sides of the mouth up. Okay. Number ten. We just have two more. This is like la 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 or la. So you can make this kind of curve here and curve here. This is your top tooth. This is your tongue. That's the back. So that's like la or la la. The last one is like this shape. So your mouth is wider, and it's like a sh. Like a small, so it's like S, S, like a small, small. So your your mouth isn't wide open. And it looks like that. This one's pretty common, I think. Okay, so when you animate words or dialogue, you want to sound it out and find the shape that fits it. So we're going to start with hello. So ha ha. Uh, uh, uh. So something like uh, 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 and then L, l, l O. So you want to use probably this, this, and this. Hello, hello. Would that make sense? Okay. All right. So you can follow me as as we go through it, and then if everyone's working on anybody's work on paper, I want you to tear out eight pieces of paper. So let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna animate this guy. And so we have eight frames. We're gonna draw the draw this guy. So if you're working on paper, I want you to tear off, off eight pieces of paper. Okay. So I'm gonna tear off eight pieces of paper here. And if you don't have little pads, what you can do is you can get regular copy paper. You can you can get regular copy paper and fold it in half, and then you can fold it in half again. And then you would cut this. Just for anybody who's new new here, you would cut it in half this way. And then you would put this, and you would cut in half. If you have regular copy paper, okay? And then you would cut it again. But it's better to buy a piece of buy buy a pad of paper, because that way you don't have to cut paper. Okay. So let's tear out eight pieces of paper and number them. One through eight on the left side. And then here, it's numberless on the bottom left side. Okay? So once you have your eight, put the first one on the top. Now you have your eight pieces of paper, right? Okay, so let's take our first one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna draw this shape, okay? So we're just gonna draw a circle first, and then the body and the ears, and we're gonna draw one hand. Okay, so this is gonna be our first layer. Now, if you're working on flip a clip, I want you to draw this on the on one layer. So create three layers and, and then draw this on the first layer. Okay, so the layers are right here on the bottom right corner. So you want to click on here, and you you can have the different layers, and you can draw that on the first layer. Okay, I'm gonna draw on paper first. Let's do paper, then we'll do flip a clip. Okay, so let's draw our character. So we're gonna draw a big circle. And then we're gonna just draw two lines for the body. I'm gonna draw one arm like this. We're gonna leave the left arm because we're gonna actually animate that arm. And then I wanna make my character a cat, but you can make it whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna draw some two triangles so it looks like a cat ears. So we're gonna actually draw, we're gonna copy this. I'm gonna draw my light table. So with the light table, you can now take your second frame and copy it. If you don't have a light table, you can go to the mirror and do this, or sometimes you don't even need one. So if, uh, I can see, I can still see this without it, but it's easier with the light table. But you wanna make your second frame on top of the first one. Do you just wanna copy this all eight times?
on flip a clip, let's go to your space. So I want you to go to the bottom right corner here and I want you to add two more layers, okay? So click on there, add two more layers. And then on the bottom layer, select the bottom layer, I want you to draw that cat. Okay, so you want to just draw a circle in two lines of the body and you want to draw the arm and two triangles. Now on here, this bottom right on the number one, you can select this and I want you to hold it down and you'll see here, it gives you a few options. You want to press the middle one, that, that copy one, this one. Okay, and now that gives you two more and then you want to press this one, which copies the next frame over. So that's really easy. Now I can keep doing this for eight. Okay. So if you're working on flip a clip, it's really easy because you, you don't have to draw it <laughs> over and over again. Meanwhile, I'm going to switch back to paper. You should have eight frames. I have number three here. I'll take my number four, put it over. So now we have eight drawings. They're all the same. So now we can start animating the face and the mouth. Here's what we're gonna do next is we're gonna draw the face. So I want you to go to number one. This is our number one frame, all right? And we're just gonna start off with a smiley face. So let's just draw two circles of the eyes. Okay, you can draw people there in the middle. And you can draw a circle like this for the, for the muzzle. You can draw another circle for the mouth. I mean, for the nose and just a little smiley face like that. That's pretty easy. Okay. So if you're on flip a clip, I want you to draw that on another layer. So let me, let me actually show you on flip a clip. I want you to go to in this bottom right corner. You see layer number two. I want you to draw this on layer number two. So that way you can erase on number two and not mess up layer number one. Okay. So let's just draw that face. All right, all right, so let's draw number two. So this, I'm gonna pull up our handy dandy guide that we drew the first time. And if you don't have this done yet, it's okay, you can just follow along. So we're gonna go, ha, 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 uh, ha, hello. Which number shape would you use for the first drawing? You don't have to have the H, but you wanna to listen to the sound. So it's not always by letter, it's more by sound. Uh, yeah. So that's number one. So let's draw the eyes again. And so now on number two, you can copy the eyes. But this time, our mouth shape is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be like this. So we're gonna open it and you can have a little bit of a top tooth showing and the tongue on the bottom. And we can move the nose up a little bit. Bit. This is why we don't want to copy the nose. And this is why I also don't draw the muzzle first. I actually draw the mouth first. And then I can move the mouth around there. So it's ha, 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 ha. Okay. All right. So if you're drawing on flip a clip, it should be the exact same. I'm just going to draw it here. Here, I like to turn on the onion skin. This, this red thing is the onion skin. So I'll show you how to turn that on. On this top right corner, there's three dots. And there's this third option that says onion. So you could turn it on and off. And what onion allows you to do is see the frame below it. So that way I can see that shape. And now I can go frame number two. I want to make sure I'm on layer number two so I can draw that on layer number two. And I'm going to draw that shape here. So I like to draw the mouth again. Okay, so that's frame number two. So frame number three is like frame number two, but it's bigger. So it's ha, 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 ha. So I'm gonna make the, the mouth a little bit bigger. Okay. So frame number three is just like frame number two, but a little bit bigger. 
So I'm gonna do this on paper here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get my third piece of paper, a layer on top of the on frame number two, and let's draw it. And I'm gonna make the mouth bigger this time. So maybe it's a big hello. Hello. All right, so I'm just gonna show these three here. This is kind of cool. So this is the huh. All right, I'm gonna draw this one and flip a clip. All right, so now we have the first three done. We're almost halfway. Let's look at, at our uh, at our reference. Now we have the ha ha. Now we need the la la la. So that is number 10 shape, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy frame number three. We're gonna draw over frame number three with frame number four. So my number four. And I'm gonna do the L uh shape. I'm gonna copy the eyes. And I'm gonna draw the mouth like this. That's that curve. It's straight at the bottom. And the teeth. And this is the tongue. La, la, la. So if you say la, 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 try saying la, 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 right? Your tongue hits the top of your mouth. That's what that part is. Okay. And then you can have the nose and the muzzle for the cat. There we go. So frame number five is starting to go to the O, the low. So that's number six, right? So let's get frame number five. This is the O. Now we can go O, the low. So number one, which is a smiley face. Hello, hello, hello. So, this is frame number six. So go ahead and follow along either with paper or on flip a clip. Go to your frame number six. And this one, it's just it's just uh, a little taller. Oh. And then frame number seven. It's like frame number six. But small, the hole is smaller. Hello, because the mouth is starting to close. Hello. And frame number eight is going back to our smiley face. So here are the last three frames. All right, so let's look at what we did. Let's flip a clip. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. So yeah, that is uh, that is our exercise. Now, if you like that video, make sure you hit the like button to help us grow the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button to make sure that you get notified for future videos. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.